Okay, in the second part of the video, we're going to be um, reviewing some concepts that relate to linked lists. So, when you deal with linked lists, there are some, some uh, uh, issues that come up, and uh, they can be really important, and uh, you must know how to deal with them. So, these are things that you want to keep in mind when you deal with linked lists. Uh, we're going to be going over them very quickly. We have about five minutes for four issues here. Um, I'm just going to scratch the surface. If you guys, I mean, I expect that you guys know a lot about it already and it's just for review that I'm putting it up. So the first thing is that you, uh, uh, you always have to keep track of your head and update it constantly. So as you go along your program you're going to be modifying your list and you're going to be deleting stuff, you're going to be adding stuff and your head will have to reflect the, uh, the, the, the current state of your list. And if you don't update your head then you could essentially just lose track of your list and you, your list will be just lost in memory and you won't be able to use it anymore. So you always have to update your head. Uh, if you remove this element, for example, then your head will have to point to that element, and so on and so forth. So there are two ways to do it. You could uh, expect that every function that performs a certain uh, modification to your list returns the new head. So whatever function that mo modifies your list, either by adding an element, removing an element, do whatever, or doing whatever it does, it has to return the new head. So you program your functions to do that, and then when it returns that new head that has been modified, you just assign it to your head pointer that you have in your main uh, program that's running. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is to actually pass that the functions, the modifying functions, a pointer to your head. And this is how you would do it. So remember that head itself is a pointer, and you're passing a pointer to head. So it's a pointer of a pointer you're passing that to your function, your function is going to do the modification that it has to do and it's going to update your head and return from there. So you're relying on your function to update your head. So this is, you choose which, whichever way you want. The second issue that comes up is, uh, is something that you'll see when you traverse a, a, a list and you're going to have to make sure that you check for the end of list. If you don't check for the end of list then you might have a runtime error. So this is your list for example and you're traversing your list so you're performing some operations on every element of the list and if you don't check for the last element then you will con carry on and go on and then you'll reach null you'll perform your operation on null and you'll have an error so you're gonna have to check for the end of the list and an easy way to do it is simply by adding this condition that's in C just uh, uh, say while head where head is uh, something that you're pointing to while it's not null and whatever other conditions you have, do whatever you want to do, and then uh, update your head. So this is a condition you want to add. And this also helps you out because at the beginning you're going to be passing head to the function. And if head, if it's simply a, a, an empty list, then head will be null. And if you don't check for that condition, then you'll carry on and you'll perform your operation on a null list, and then you'll, you'll end up with an error. So this is a very important condition to put at the end, at the beginning of, of whatever operation you're performing. The third element is inserting and deleting. When you're going to be inserting and dele deleting elements from your list, you have to handle two cases. First, there's a special case for the head. If you're going to be deleting the head element, then you're going to have to update the head pointer, like we said. So this is a special case, and you're going to have to handle it at the beginning of your uh, uh, function that inserts or deletes elements. Uh, this is one thing you want to keep keep in mind, and the second thing is um, when you're going to, for example, when you delete an element, you're going to have to modify this pointer. But how are you going to reach this if it's a singly linked list? The way to do it is to either keep track of the previous element, so keep on going until you find the element you want to delete, and you're keeping track of the previous element, and then update it, or use this solution where you check the next element and see if it is the one that you want to delete and if it happens to be this one then you update the element that you're at which will ha will be this one you update its next pointer to point at this one and then you delete the element that you want to delete and then finally when you want to free an entire list or delete an entire list there is something that comes to mind uh, uh, there's something there's a problem here because you can't really delete an element and then try to move on to the next one because you won't have the next pointer and the way to deal with this is to always use two pointers so whenever you want to delete an entire list you always have to use two pointers one to delete the element and one to keep track of the next element that you'll be deleting 